Wow, there is nothing more gorgeous after a cold, wet winter than the vibrant yellow of swamp lanterns in bloom. Also known as Western Skunk Cabbage, swamp lanterns are a really unique plant that's been around for over 245 million years, which predates the dinosaurs by about 15 million years. And as a result, they got some pretty quirky traits that make them uniquely adapted to these mucky, swampy environments they call home. Now, first off, they're one of the earliest to bloom in the spring, which provides a much needed food source for all sorts of pollinators emerging this time of year. And as such early risers, they usually bloom when there's still snow on the ground, but they've evolved to deal with that. See, swamp lanterns are thermogenic, meaning they're able to produce their own heat. So as they emerge, they're actually able to melt their way through light snowpacks to become one of the first signs of life each year. Now, as a member of the Araceae family, these prehistoric plants have tiny flowers on the central stalk thing here that kind of looks like a flowering corn cob, which is known as a spadix, which is surrounded by a spathe or this yellow shield thing here that kind of resembles a flower. And just like all flowers, its role here is to attract pollinators that facilitates reproduction so they can continue to thrive. But these beauties evolved at a time before there were many of the common pollinators we think of today, such as bees or hummingbirds, so there wasn't a need to create those big, sweet, nectary, delicious, and beautiful flowers with delightful aromas to attract those more posh and flamboyant pollinators. You know, that's a relatively recent adaptation. Instead, the main pollinators of swamp lanterns are flies, midges, and beetles, which all normally eat and are attracted to dead or decaying things and even poo. So as a result, this plant has also adapted to have a not so pleasant odor to us, earning the offensive nickname of skunk cabbage, even though they're just doing what they can to attract the pollinators they need to keep on keeping on. So let's not yuck their yum and instead start calling them swamp lanterns because these things are beacons of beauty.